Hi everybody, this is Matthew Pose of Pose Acoustics, and um, so I wanted to shoot this video. It's, it's going to be on, I'm, I use AI for various things. Sometimes helps me write papers, sometimes to find resources, and sometimes to help with more complex calculations. Like I use Excel sheets that I put the calculations into, but often there's limitations or they need to be updated or there's a different criteria I want to add in. And it's amazing, like anymore, Gemini, ChatGPT, you know, Grok, all these things can actually do all those calculations for you very quickly. You need to check it. It absolutely gets it wrong sometimes. It's definitely not something to be trusted blindly. But once you understand, if you have a good understanding of the calculations to begin with, then it can be a great tool. So I had a calc sheet I was already using to do sound transmission loss calculations on doors so I could better understand how to design the door differently to get higher sound transmission loss. And it was getting to a point where certain design criteria I couldn't account for properly in my calc sheet, so I decided to use ChatGPT to help me refine that. And so it's, it basically we started with, here's some known designs with known material qualities and masses and damping and all that, stiffness, you name it, like we get all that in there. Here's how it was built. Here's the test data from two or three different labs. So I used products where I knew they had been tested in multiple labs and I had that data. And so that gives you a margin of error to work with. And um, here's some other, maybe I only have one lab for it, but here's another door style. And here's the number we have. And interestingly enough, won't shock you guys, um, predicting the sound transmission loss of a wood door or a wood core door is really easy. It's actually not hard to do at all. Um, coming up with the sound transmission loss for metal doors with specialty cores and all that, that's much more difficult. I'm not gonna get into that one. That was not what I was interested in. So I had identified this door from True Door that is a commercial wood fire rated door. It's rated for, I believe, 30 minutes. And it has a mass of 3.7 pounds per square foot, which is very typical for these heavier fire rated doors. And the uh, total weight of the door is around 88, 89 pounds for this particular door I was using. And uh, I'm trying to think what they... They predicted an STC rating, I think, of like 32, something like that. And I wanted to do a more precise calculation. Ah, yes, and we came up with 32 to 34. And so this is sort of a light du duty door. And what I found was when you moved into the heavier doors, it was only a couple of points higher. It didn't really get a lot higher. So then I thought, well, what would happen if you were to add a layer, one layer of one inch MDF uh, and green glue? And it turns out that one layer of MDF is about 3.75 pounds. Uh, per uh, square foot. Green glue, they're actually adding, I think, more mass than is appropriate. They added 0.5 pounds per square foot. I don't know that that's correct. And it came up with these new numbers. Basically, after adding it, it went up to, it went from around 32 to 34 up to around 40. And the reason is because it doubled the mass and, and then some by doing that. Um, and then I pointed out to it that actually those calculations seem a little bit off. And it went through and it did a few more little adjustments to it and came back and said, ah, yes, you're right. Uh, the green glue wouldn't have weighed that much and um, it was miscalculating the mass of the, the uh, MDF. We got that resolved and came to a new number and it was exactly what I expected it to be, which is around uh, 38. So you go from STC 32 to 38, not bad. Something to keep in mind though, is that it's not taking it from STC 32 to like 42 not that good or even more yet. So then the thought was, well, what if you were to add two one inch layers? So you take it and you take the same door and now you've got a one inch layer on one side, a one inch layer on the other. Keep in mind, this door is already 1.75 inches. We've now made it 2.75 inches. So we're gonna make it 3.75 inches. Well, you're actually only gaining two to three dB of additional STC based on these calculations. One of the interesting things was that the damping properties of green glue didn't add much of anything to the transmission loss. And the reason for that was that the inherent damping of the MDF to begin with and the mineral core door that was used as a fire door was so high and the stiffness and mass was so high that green glue couldn't do anything. And I knew that was probably true, but it was interesting that ChatGPT instantly picked up on that and said, while there may be some value to the green glue, it's not going to provide any constrained layer damping. It's not going to provide any improvements in the transmission loss due to damping. Its primary benefit is actually going to be just the added mass, meaning it's not really helpful. And at that point, what I realized was you're probably better off inserting a layer of mass-loaded vinyl rather than a layer of green glue. 
The mass loaded vinyl allows you to add a lot more mass per square foot in, for, in a very thin sheet um, or even a couple of sheets of mass loaded vinyl. So, for, so the point of all this was a couple things. One, wood doors don't actually have all that high of an STC rating. And if you're trying to achieve a very high STC rating, go to steel. Steel is the better thing to be using. So that's the first issue to consider here. Two, um, adding a sheet of MDF, and remember, one inch is pretty thick. Most of you are probably adding half inch to three quarter inch, not one inch, but I went thick on purpose, does offer an improvement over a standard door. So if your door weighs about 80 to 90 pounds, a one inch sheet of MDF is gonna increase the, the mass of that door so much that you're gonna get a pretty solid six or seven point improvement. But after that, adding more layers isn't gonna offer much benefit because you have to double the mass of the whole thing. So you have to take this door that we've now turned into something that already weighs around 160 pounds and turn it into something that weighs around 320 pounds plus just to get another six points. The green glue isn't doing anything other damping materials aren't doing anything. Um, the, the primary benefits at this point, as I mentioned, is just the mass. Where you can start to get into taking advantage of the tricks we use to improve sound isolation for a door would be getting into things like two doors. So if you have an air gap with two doors, that's kind of like having a wall that's decoupled on both sides. So if you were to do a door like I mentioned, nice 1.75 inch door that weighs around 100 pounds or so, Heavier the better. The one I found weighed 88 pounds. It was surprisingly light. I was having trouble finding heavier doors, but call it whatever. Add another big thing to double its mass, which may be a whole nother door. You might find though, as I did, that MDF and mass loaded vinyl are actually denser materials. So I think a layer or two of, of the two pound mass loaded vinyl and then a layer of MDF is a more efficient way of adding all that extra mass. Um, reconstruct it into a functional door, put it all together. My cat is going crazy back here, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, so reconstruct it into a functional door. You're gonna have to make sure you, you upgrade the hinges. So it's really important. Yes, we hear you, I'm doing a video right now. You're gonna have to wait. Um, so you're gonna have to make sure you upgrade those hinges to heavy duty hinges because you've now made that door much heavier. You've got a couple hundred pound door. The frame itself needs to be heavier to support that, but do all those things, do that. You're gonna get yourself up to, as I said, around an STC, for the sake of argument, uh, 38 door. So take that STC 38 door, make another one, if you modify the construction a little bit, actually not a bad idea. So using some different materials, one of the things I sometimes do is I'll use a mineral core for one and a fiber core for the other. The masses can end up being the same, but because you're using different materials, you avoid overlapping resonances. Put an air gap between those doors. So you build a frame that can handle it that gives you about a minimum of six inches, but eight, 10 inches more ideally. And that's gonna lead to, uh, now you're gonna go from like STC 38 to like STC 50 plus. Um, so now you're gonna get like a big improvement because again, just redoubling the mass of that single door is never gonna get us to that 50. Just redoubling that mass is just six extra points. So that gets us to STC 44. We can actually beat that without having to have that same redoubling of mass by uh, another six to 10 points. So that the two doors, call communicating doors, that's a better approach once you've already increased the mass of the door. Then, okay, so what's the next thing beyond that? Well, steel doors. And the reason is because the inner and outer layers of steel, them, so first off, thick steel, like 14 gauge or 12 gauge steel is heavy. So you can make a door that isn't very thick, but it's very heavy pretty easily. You can put specially optimized cores in there that are made of things like mass loaded vinyl and mineral core. So you could take, as an example, there's some higher density drywall materials. You could take a, uh, something like a Quiet Rock 545, maybe glue two layers of that together, stick that inside of a steel, 12 gauge steel core door, apply some damping to the steel, because it actually in that case would need some damping, that would be a benefit to it. Return that into a door. Um, it's common that there's some insulation that's added in there, so you might have some layers of, of high density, well damped uh, mineral core attached to the steel to damp it with uh, just like loose fiberglass type insulate, lower density fiberglass insulation, something like that inside the middle. Anyway, all of that, all of a sudden we're talking about it. that door alone 
will actually achieve around STC 52 to 55, just, just on its own. Add in a second one, do the communicating door, and we're gonna see a pretty solid, usually six to 10 dB improvement by doing that at that point. So that's, you know, that's really the right way to do it. The problem is how do you get a steel core door that you can do your own? My cat is really going nuts here. So how do you do a steel core door uh, like that? It's pretty hard to get one that's like opened up and you can do this. And a lot of the companies that make them don't necessarily wanna make custom doors for you like that. But the bigger point I wanted to make was that I see a common over-reliance on attaching mass to regular doors and it makes an improvement, but I wanna keep that improvement in check. Um, it's a lot, unfortunately, a lot of the doors that are untested that are out there, I've seen some crazy numbers thrown around that are just not correct. The, they really follow mass law pretty closely. And so you can, you can actually figure out what the sound transmission loss is on them just based on what they weigh. All right, so I hope you found that video helpful. I hope you appreciate my cat meowing throughout this whole thing and uh, going nuts in the back there. I think she did not intend to get locked in the theater with me while I shot this video. But thanks again. Keep on watching. I got more coming and I'm sure she's gonna show up and interrupt uh, in some future videos. Thanks everybody.